Welcome back. Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli said on Wednesday that President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi will announce in the coming period the launch of an expanded international summit called Egypt International Summit for Infrastructure and Sustainability. Well, of course, uh, something of great importance uh, over the phone, we have uh, Mr. Yasser Kamel Tantawi, infrastructure development expert. Hello. 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 Good morning, sir. Good. So Good first morning. of all, how do you think of this uh, idea, just having an international summit uh, titled Egypt International Summit for Infrastructure and Sustainability? Technically, it is not uh, a new idea. It's a, a new trend where the, co the country nationwide is taking it now as mandate, which is to develop the infrastructure business because this is the real core of development. There is no development without having a proper infrastructure in place in, in terms of utilities, transportation, power, and so on. So it's, it's, it complies with the trend of the national level. It's becoming an armed run. It's not something new. It is not something... Uh, not expected. Actually, it is one of the core things that is uh, on focus on, the, let's say, the government calendar in the past few years. Uh, the point is, Egypt is moving from being a country looking just to survive into a country this, which is looking to proper advanced development. So the trend is, the vision is changing, the mission is changing of the government, and so the entire, let's say, government arms are working in this trend. Uh, so technically, it could be a cornerstone in, uh, in not acquiring uh, new opportunities only, but to uh, market the Egyptian capabilities and uh, fruitfulness of doing business in Egypt or through Egypt. Especially, it will be a new hub for power, energy, transportation management from to Africa and Europe. So uh, I believe it's uh, a very tolerated approach. Uh, of benefit to everyone and technically everybody will, will get gain out of it rather Egyptian from Egyptian side or from external side. Uh, talking about uh, Egypt uh, nowadays in the region uh, being as a model for all the unprecedented achievements in uh, infrastructure and talking mm -hmm. about all the projects that took place and all the linking routes that are linking all the pivotal uh, places here in Egypt and how this can be part also of this important event adding to this the developments taking place in the urban areas having such an event bringing together uh, the um, African uh, countries or talking about the African continent in general and the Arab region as well? Uh, as I told it's, it's we can say it's a continuity of what have been discussing because Egypt sizing, we, we are speaking about a nation which is more than 100 million uh, of capital, so it's, it's not an easy ability to ignore uh, concerning capacity, competency, and requirements of, of needs. Uh, so technically, we cannot afford needs without uh, knowing exactly our competency, our values, and how we are going to develop it. So technically, the government is trying to step ahead, uh, one step ahead of the current population growth in which the, the, the country could maintain uh, the expansion. On the other side, being uh, in such ge geographical and political position, which is country, let's say, expanded, exposed to other nations, uh, this is what we call it a part of the Egypt soft power of expansion and to ease. Uh, let's say it's not the point of ease only. It's, not, it's now the changing of the vision of other nations or other countries, a political system to Egypt, be, uh, from being a very slowly motivated nation or looking over for sustainability or looking for surviving into a developing uh, a resilient, sustainable system all over. So technically, the growth rate in the Egyptian population versus the opportunities acquired by government and those expanded uh, projects will lead to a huge increase in the uh, potential uh, capacity of the country to acquire more investment. So technically, I think most investment platforms outside Egypt, regardless of the user type, will be very hungry uh, to acquire lots of opportunities in Egypt and lots of things, especially once come to infrastructure, power grids, and so on.
Uh, talking also about the Human Development Report that reflects the comprehensive development efforts undertaken by the state, which uh, extend, of course, to all aspects of life in Egypt. And we have seen many initiatives uh, that took place, successful initiatives that took place in this respect. Yes. Uh, as we see, uh, there are huge developments in the railway, power, uh, infrastructure for motor, wastewater, and so on. Uh, education, which is a part of the nation, national infrastructure, population, uh, housing systems, and so on. All of that are utilities and uh, infrastructure management. Uh, all of those projects are not discrete projects. They are all integrated on top of, under one umbrella of the national development of the national infrastructure. Uh, so technically, because you cannot work, you cannot afford expansion of your project without having reliable society or community that will uh, support that. Uh, we have billions of uh, investments uh, on the going, and Egypt will still need to invest more to do that. We need to remember that most of the major players, once they uh, took over position with uh, countries like Dubai or the cities like Dubai and so on, their key milestone was the infrastructure requirements, and this is what we are doing now. But with the size of Egypt, the opportunity will be extremely high. And that will lead also to, the, to more development in our infrastructure uh, where we are having. Uh, with the speech is done by the, his, his Excellency Prime Minister and his Senate President before them concerning the corner milestones from the infrastructure development, the, the new cement, and the HR, or let's say, uh, human capacity and resources uh, report that was done and the sustainability report all of that are the only keys of development so we are marking the opportunity we are developing the community to maintain that opportunity and develop it then we are seeking uh, let's say points of development uh, in the infrastructure regardless of the type of it and then we are integrating all of that into the egyptian 2030 uh, let's say vision in the coming 2030 and 2050 in the coming years. I, I think this is uh, all about integration of the entire infrastructure grid with the community. And definitely uh, it's a part also for, um, from our um, 2030 vision as well. It is. It is. Uh, that's why I'm saying it's part of the 2030 and 2050 vision. It's, it's a very long vision, and this is one of the, uh, let's say, almost uh, the first time in the last 60 years that uh, Egypt is taking such a strategic trend on long-term basis, not a very short-term basis. And we need to remember that all of our issues and the turbulences that happened in Egypt before uh, was based on uh, the government of the leadership of taking a very short milestone, so we not a strategic mega steps, let's say. Right, uh, Mr. Yes, sir, Kamel Tantawi, infrastructure uh, development expert. Thank you very much for joining us. And I guess with this, we come to the end of our breakfast show for today. Thank you all for joining us and stay tuned for more coming up on Nal TV International.